What is going on everybody? Welcome back, MG Marine Tech here, and today we are finally back with another video all about what's in this box right here. Now, if you guys don't know about Miller Tech, they are a leading supplier of all different types of batteries for a whole host of different industries, but they are gaining a very large name in the marine industry. One of the main reasons is what's in this box. This is a starting lithium battery. There is a reason a lot of the big name pros out there are switching over to Miller Tech batteries because one, they produce in an extremely nice product and two, they have great customer service. And that's two things I definitely look for in any product out there is high quality and great customer service. And these guys definitely nail it on both those aspects. So I'm extremely excited and happy for them to be supporting such a little guy like myself and helping this channel out. So a huge shout out to them. If you guys are in the market for lithium batteries, definitely take a look at these guys. You will not be disappointed. They have great bang for the buck. The battery that is in here is not just any lithium battery. This is a starting lithium battery. So let's get it unboxed, show you guys what we have and show you some of the details that you need to know uh, when it comes to starting lithium batteries and if you can run them, if you can't run them, what's it going to do to your warranty, things like that. That's what we're going to be covering today. So let's get this thing unboxed and dive in. This is Miller Tech's Marine Lithium Starting Battery and this is their 100 amp hour version. So this is their bigger version. They also offer a 65 amp hour version which is a little bit smaller. Now this 100 amp hour version will take the place of a group 31 battery. So if you have a group 31 starting battery or dual purpose battery in your boat, this will fit right in its place. This thing can put out a whopping 1150 cold cranking amps so it will have zero issues starting any motor that you have on your boat. And like I said, it is rated at 100 amp hours. So this thing's not only responsible for starting the main engine, but it's also going to be powering all the electronics I have throughout the boat and give me endless power throughout the day. So this thing has a ton of capacity. So I don't have to worry about draining this thing and getting stranded, not being able to start the main engine. Now, like I said, they do also offer a 65 amp hour version. Obviously it's going to be cheaper than the 100 amp hour version, and it does not put out as many cold cranking amps but that version is for guys who have, you know, the smaller 24 size uh, series batteries and uh, are size limited. Now, the important thing that we need to cover here, all about this paper right here, and it has to do with Mercury engines. This piece of paper is Mercury Marines service bulletin, uh, and I will put this full screen so you guys can kind of read along here, but this basically uh, is a service bulletin and it has to deal or has to do with the use of lithium ion batteries, especially for starting your main engine. Several months ago, they had a similar service bulletin and it stated that the use of lithium ion batteries could void your warranty. That is not the case anymore. They have since revised that because these are becoming such commonplace nowadays and so popular, they have dove into it and they re reversed their decision. So I'm gonna go over some of the crucial points of this and show you guys why these Miller Tech lithium batteries will no longer void your warranty and they are perfectly safe to use as a starting battery. Under situation in the second paragraph it says a standalone lithium ion battery pack should have a battery management system or a BMS. With Miller Tech lithium batteries all of their lithium batteries have a BMS uh, built into them. Whether it's a really small 12 amp all the way up to their 100 amp hour batteries they have a BMS board in them but not just any BMS board. They use top of the line BMS boards and their BMS boards are overbuilt. For instance, say it, it's a, a 45 amp hour battery. Well, they'll put a BMS board that maybe should be in a 65 amp hour battery. These uh, BMS boards are overbuilt and this BMS board is responsible for all of the functions of the battery from charging to discharging, temperature cutoffs, voltage cutoffs, lots of safety stuff integrated into them. And so Miller Tech goes above and beyond when it comes to the BMS boards because it is extremely crucial to have a great functioning battery and a safe battery. Moving on to the really important part here, under warranty it says the use of lithium ion batteries will not void engine warranty. Again, the use of lithium ion batteries will not void the engine warranty. There you go, cut and dry. This piece of paper now states that lithium ion batteries are not gonna void your engine warranty. Now up at the very top, it says the model's affected and it goes into Mercury Outboard, Mercury uh, Merc Cruiser, and serial numbers are years and it says all. Now I'm going to uh, dive in a little bit to this because you don't just wanna throw a starting lithium battery on any uh, outboard out there so I'm going to show you guys exactly what you need to know before you go putting a starting lithium battery on your outboard. So what do you need to know if you want to run a lithium starting battery? Well, Miller Tech makes it extremely simple. 
right here in the top right corner of the battery they state charging voltage 14.6 volts so what does this ex mean exactly it means that your main engine that is connected to your starting battery when it is on running at the higher rpm range you want to make sure that it's not charging at more than 14.6 volts so how do you do this well it's very simple you're going to need another person in your boat and a voltage meter and what you will do is get your boat going obviously get it on plane get it up into those higher rpm range take your voltage meter and then measure the voltage at the battery if it is at or under 14.6 volts so again at or under 14.6 volts this battery is going to work flawless, flawlessly for you now what happens if it is above 14.6 volts say it's 14.7 volts well again jumping back to the bms board that's inside these batteries it'll shut this battery off most likely shutting off your engine and that is where these things got a bad rap in the beginning is because people were using them on the wrong types of engines or not knowing about these voltage cutoff limits. What do you do if your voltage is above 14.7 or 14.6 volts? Well, you have a couple of options. Most of your newer four stroke boats have an alternator on them and some of, some of them have adjustable regulators on the alternators. So you can find that regulator and it, turn it down to get underneath the 14.6 volt threshold. Now you could also uh, potentially add in voltage regulators in line so that the charging current going to these this battery is not above the 14.6 volts so those are a couple options that you can play with if you are above the 14.6 volt cutoff going back to our service bulletin this has to do with mercury marine engines if you have an Evinrude or a Suzuki or a Honda you're gonna want to do some research on these things and make sure it doesn't void your warranty but if you're outside of your warranty and your engine charges at or under that 14.6 volt, you are not gonna have a problem. You'll be able to use one of these starting batteries. Unfortunately for you guys that have older two-stroke engines that have a stator style charging system, uh, a lot of times this will knock you out from being able to use a starting lithium battery. Now the reason being is that the stator starting system typically puts out more than that 14.6 volt charging uh, voltage and could potentially shut the battery down. Now you obviously don't want that when you're out on the water. Now if you do accidentally get your battery shut down, whether it be low voltage, high voltage, they're extremely easy to restart. We're not gonna dive into that in this video. Now this brings me to my next point, is that to stay tuned to this channel because in the future we're going to be diving in and clearing up a lot of the misconceptions about lithium batteries. Lithium batteries are an extremely hot topic right now. They're becoming extremely popular and every day they're becoming more and more affordable. In the beginning, lithium batteries got a bad rap for safety and I can tell you that is not the case, especially when you're dealing with uh, MillerTech lithium is that these are hands down some of the safest batteries on the market and are even more stable and safe than a standard lead acid battery. If you guys are in the market for lithium batteries, hit up my friends at MillerTech Lithium. Top notch batteries, top notch customer service. They're priced extremely competitively, but you're getting a top notch battery and great customer service. So again, those are two important things that I really look for in any product that I put in my boat. As always, stay tuned for more tips and tricks on MG Marine Tech.